Good afternoon, I'm Joe Votvarka for JSV Traffic. Once again, it's the day before Thanksgiving. We got major delays all over the place this afternoon. And, well, here's a really bad one that I probably don't have to tell you about because you probably know about it. if you're down in Washington, D.C. Here's the Washington Capitol Beltway. Here we are going uh, southbound on the right and going northbound on the left. Traffic is just bumper to bumper. Headlights as far as the eye can see. Just a complete mess on the Beltway. We'll let them worry about that down there. But if you are traveling down there, you have that to look forward to. If you are traveling up here around home, the Philadelphia metro area or anywhere, we got big doings all over the place. Let's go to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. We got heavy traffic on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, as it says here on their message board. Starting at mile marker 23, continuing all the way over to Fort Washington, which is ridiculous. That is approximately, let's see, Fort Washington's mile post 339, that's a 16 mile delay. Then we got delays on the Northeast Extension, generally from right here at Mid County all the way up to Lehigh Valley. And these delays actually go back further to south of the Schuylkill Expressway on Blue Route to exit 13. Once again, as I said before, 43 mile delay, as I have posted on Twitter. Unbelievable. And if you want proof of that, let's go to the center. Let's go to my detailed center here. Here's south of the Blue Route right here. As you can see, it's yellow. There, that's south of the Schuylkill Expressway. Excuse me. See, it's yellow, and it continues on the Blue Route. It's a little better. Better now. We're coming up to north of uh, Lansdale. See, it goes green. There it is. Yellow again. Yellow again. Yellow still green and more yellow even a little bit of red so I mean it's not a complete delay but in pockets delays in pockets of volume for 43 miles and while we're up here look at the Lehigh Valley we got delays on I-78 eastbound between 309 and 412 stop and go traffic westbound back up from the Delaware River all the way over to 145 22 is backed up just in both directions between 33 and I-78 merge. 78 westbound's backed up again at the Route 22 merge, and also it's backed up eastbound from 100 over to uh, 476. And while we're at it, let's go take a look at Harrisburg real quickly. We got delays in Harrisburg on I-81 that are just awful. I mean, if you're traveling I-81, we got delays approaching. Uh, exit 70 that start back at 67 through 77 10 mile delay going northbound and even southbound they're not there yet but it's starting to congest up in this area we're starting to see pockets of volume there it is right there on the right as you can see in both directions it's slow in this area headed back over to to uh, Harrisburg here we are got delays on 83 in both directions between I-81 and 283 and then again also between 581 and 283 in both directions we have some significant delays both directions there we also have building volumes no major delays yet but we have building volumes on US 322 westbound just west of this camera approaching route 39 and once you get out to around 225 it really opens up nicely we also have some building volumes up at seven mountains I have been told that it is starting to back up where Seven Mountains where it merges down to one lane in each direction. Just on the other side of Seven Mountains, I'm being told there's about a three mile delay there and you're coming to a complete stop approaching the rest area up there. Back to the Pennsylvania Turnpike real quickly, we have more issues. Wouldn't you know, we got more issues on the Turnpike. Gee, just lovely. And these are some pretty significant delays out here. And they were reporting a 75 mile delay a little bit ago. I mean, it seems far-fetched, but yeah, that's what they reported a bit ago. It's gotten a bit better since. They're not reporting 75-mile delays anymore. But take a look here in the camera on the left. Look real closely between the icicles on the camera. Yeah, that's not helping anything either. If you're traveling out there, be very careful. Temperatures are below freezing, and there could be icing on the roadway. But look real closely. See on the left all those headlights? That's bumper to bumper stop and go traffic and look here on the right you can see all these taillights bumper to bumper traffic and all these headlights that's because there's heavy holiday traffic on the turnpike 
Here we go. VMS mainline. This is milepost 104. This is eastbound. Heavy traffic east of Somerset. Exit 110. Expect delays. And here we go again. Weather alert because of the weather. And there's another message sign that they got turned on. Let's find it here. Heavy traffic east of New Stanton. Expect delays. And now for the turnpike advisory. We have heavy traffic on the Pennsylvania Turnpike in both directions between the New Stanton Exit 75 and Bedford Exit 146. Motors will encounter heavy traffic, stay alert for stops or slow moving traffic and expect delays. So right now it's currently milepost 82 to milepost 122. Still a 40 mile delay through this area. And let's go to our centers. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what that shows. And ooh, this looks ugly. Particularly the westbound side seems to be worse than eastbound. Multiple, multiple areas where it's just stop and go. There we go right there. It's even black in some spots, which means it's not moving at all. Again, there's the Allegheny Tunnel. Right where I'm pointing here. Zoom in. There's the Allegheny Tunnel. So, I mean, it's basically like they're all the way to New Stanton, which is pretty bad. And you have to think, you got all this volume congested on the turnpike. Well, a lot of these people, they got to get off the turnpike somewhere. So... Probably Don Jail, New Stanton, Somerset, maybe even Pittsburgh Interchange and Bedford Interchange. Yeah, there's going to be congestion for the toll plazas just to get off. And here's proof of that. There's the Bedford Toll Plaza, and yep, it's showing up red. So we got delays to the Bedford Toll Plaza now. Let's go back down to Philadelphia. Look at all this stuff I have to tell you about. I won't bother showing you the cameras because that would just take way too long. We got delays on I-95 southbound from Woodhaven Road all the way down through to I-676, which is approximately a 15-mile delay. Northbound, we have a 16-mile delay from Penn's Landing all the way up to Woodhaven Road. The Schuylkill Expressway, I got a good one for you. The entire Schuylkill Expressway is backed up today from the Valley Forge Tolls at PA Turnpike all the way through to the Walton Bridge. In both directions, on the Roosevelt Expressway, we have delays northbound from the Schuylkill Expressway on up through to 9th Street. Southbound, we have delays approaching broad through to the Schuylkill Expressway due to just the massive delays on the Schuylkill Expressway. On the Blue Route southbound, we did have a 20-mile delay from the Mid-County Tolls through to 95. That has since gotten a little bit better. It's from Exit 16 to Schuylkill Expressway down through to I-95. On I-95 southbound, I'll show you this one. We have delays from the Philadelphia International Airport all the way down through to the Delaware State Line. This is currently a 12 mile delay and it's about 35 to 40 minutes to get through this area. And actually the camera, there it is right here. Look at the headlights here going southbound 95 and even northbound on this section. I mean usually northbound is moving fine through this area because you only get two lanes coming north on 95 once you merge it with the blue route nonsense but there's enough cars coming off the blue route today that even this area is slow and let's go take a look at that blue route merge yeah here it is the blue route merge southbound you can see it's just stop and go northbound it's moving through here but it's very heavy it's raining and we even have sleet fall now and sleet even changes to snow in some places I mean it is just not pretty out there this evening and here we are on 95 northbound at 322. You can see it's stop and go there. And left there's stop and go at the Commodore Berry Bridge. And the 422 has delays from 202 all the way out to 29. And that's enough about Pennsylvania. Let's quickly go through New Jersey because we got so much going on in New Jersey too. Action on 295 in the area of Delsa Drive in Westerville, the right shoulder is blocked. We got delays on 42 in both directions between 55 and 76, and we even got delays on 55 northbound right now. Just to get on 42, we got a sinkhole on the New Jersey Turnpike, I 80 northbound in the vicinity of I 80 Express and local lanes. We also have delays on the Poluski Skyway, delays on 109, and we have big, big delays on the New Jersey Turnpike southbound from exit 10 all the way down to exit 6 this is currently and it still is a 35 mile delay look at all the red and yellow yeah huge delay right now and northbound is backed up got a little bit better northbound it's backed up from exit 6 all the way up through north of exit 7a 
Still a 24 mile backup, but it's no longer a 27 or 29 mile backup. But the delay time, I mean, come on. The delay time is 60 to 90 minutes in both directions southbound. I'm almost tempted to say 120 minutes now because it's just so congested. And take a look here. Look at both directions. Just solid headlights just barely moving in each direction. And because of this, you know, historically, this usually happens. And it's happening right now. Route 1 becomes overly congested. Look at Route 1. I believe on the right is northbound on Route 1. And it's just bumper to bumper, stop and go. And here we are at this camera. Both directions are congested, even southbound. I mean, it's just because people are trying to avoid the New Jersey Turnpike. And as a result, 195 is starting to back up. And quickly, let's go take a look at Connecticut. We'll round this out with Connecticut, where we do have heavy congestion in Connecticut this afternoon. Something awful as well. On I-95, well, look at this. Southbound, 7.7 mile delay between exits 8 and 2. Northbound, 18.4 mile delay between exits 10 and 27A. Delays, look at Hartford. Each little symbol is a delay. That's heavily congested. I mean, it's just a mess out there. New York State Thruway is heavily congested. Also, one last note, finally. Uh, let's see if the camera works for this. Interstate 80 coming into the Poconos is congested. There was an accident earlier around Tannersville. That has since cleared. And, well, the camera's not loading, unfortunately. That has since cleared, but you're going to still expect delays from the Delaware Water Gap all the way through to I-380. This is approximately a 13-mile delay coming into the Poconos this afternoon. And, okay, the camera's trying to load up. There you go. The camera's not working. So, we'll try the Stroudsburg camera real quickly. And, yeah, it's heavy westbound. Right about here is where the delay starts at the Delaware Water Gap. So, my advice to you, it's the busiest travel day of the year. If you have not left yet, try and leave tomorrow morning. I'm leaving tomorrow morning between 8 and 9 a.m. Yes, it's going to be busy tomorrow morning, but it should not be as congested as tonight. We're coming into nighttime hours. Temperatures are starting to drop more, and they're approaching the freezing mark. So all these wet roadways, the ones that are not treated, could see icy areas, and we could see a flash freeze tonight, which could cause accidents and add to these delays. If you're traveling on the New Jersey Turnpike, the delays are going to remain out there through about 9, 10 o'clock. If you're traveling on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, same deal. Delays will remain out there until about 8, 9 o'clock. On other roadways, once we get past 7 o'clock, delays will start to relax. There's going to be a heavy period tomorrow morning between 10 a.m. and noon for about two hours on all the roadways. To get through to that, you're good still Sunday. I will not be around to tweet the delays on Sunday. I will try and check in. I'll be away at my destination until next Tuesday. Sunday peak time is noon to 8 p.m. In my opinion, Sunday is worse than today because you got all the people that left yesterday, all the people that left today combined into one day going home on Sunday. And Sunday is traditionally the worst day of the year on the Pennsylvania Turnpike Northeast Extension and Pennsylvania Turnpike East-West Main Line. It will be even worse than today. Thank you for Follow me on JSV Traffic and watching this video. Have a safe and enjoyable holiday. Remember not to drink and drive and try not to eat too much turkey.